it will run the plan as asking for a value and give yes it will work can we do without giving yes it can be done i'll show it to you so it's done it's applied so how do i know if i go and refresh this time i should get the name hmm. tax so i gave a small name small n guys so what i'm going to do i'm going to change that actually i'm going instead of n small n i'm going to go big n save it again i'm going to run terraform apply this time i don't want to give yes i simply give hyphen hyphen auto hyphen approve now it will directly apply it not wait for my confirmation i don't wait for my yes it will directly do it so if i again go and refresh here if you see this time i got my my devops vpc this is how you can perform a init plan and run on the on the using the devops you can deploy things on the machine on the aws so what are things you require minimum you definitely require the credentials it's not mandatory you are going to use access key and secret key guys it's not mandatory so and it's not also good practice also just by typing here we normally don't give directly access key and secret keys because if somebody has access to this code right they can see the access key and secret key which can cause issues so we can do this in other method also how can we create a role and then we're going to use that role to deploy this one okay before that we can also destroy we create it we destroy it right what we can do i can go terraform destroy and then auto approve that means whatever it has created whatever the terraform has created it will completely de uh, destroy it see it's destroyed so what i can do i can actually go back and then do a refresh and it's gone this is how you perform the terraform destroy any questions guys any confusions here before going ahead uh, harsha this uh, mm -hmm. terraform apply right the syntax will run only that uh, main.tf file correct no no it's not like that okay oh. so it's a good question let's do one thing what i'm going to do is let's do one thing okay i'll do one thing copy i also give example one because you can't duplicate this one example one let me copy this uh, i'm going to put an ec2 is the right i keep it here this time i'm going to give example two and example two or vpc2 save it i again come to vpc give it here and example three and uh, this one is three okay so let's do one thing if i go back and type terraform again plan let's see what will happen it is actually three guys it is deploying three because what terraform will do see example three and it is deploying the devops vpc3 and my devops vpc2 and it is taking the resource example to one and everything so what it will do is in a folder it will check for all tf files and whatever the tf files it is there it will try to execute so what will happen if i say terraform apply auto approve if you see it's created guys check it out right so it's completely created and i can go and check it out so if i had done do a refresh right you will see devops one two and three see if i sort by name you see devops one two and three so it's not mandatory i need to put all configuration in real-time environments you will not have all this vpc config you just put your provided information only here that's it okay clear Yes, sir. Yeah. Questions, guys. Are we clear? Any confusions here? Okay. Now, let's do one thing. Is there is a possibility in, instead of using this access key, can we use a role? So for that, uh, what we need to do is we need to check it out. We do we have an option? See, we have an option. Assume role. What it is saying? and assume role block only one role may be used so what will happen when you give a assume role what will happen it will normally instead of using instead of using this one this access key and secret keys if you don't want to expose you need to give by the way but uh, you really don't need to give like uh, uh, i can say like uh, like you just need to give access key and secret key of a user who can assume a role that's it now what will happen 
if I give a role here, there is this assume role, right? It will actually assume that role and run the configuration for you. Uh, let me show it to you. If I go here, if you say we are telling here, so role assume the role here, and then what will happen is it will assume the role, and instead of using access key and secret key, it will assume the role, guys. That's all. And we can also give shady access credentials. A lot of things can be done, but I'm going to show this later part, not right now. Okay. So what we are going to do right now is uh, we are going to deploy uh, something. Okay, first we need to understand what is this <coughs> resource. That in 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 Terraform, right? There are two things actually. One is actually is a resource. You need to understand carefully the difference. Actually, let me go here, or I'll open a new control N. One is called resource. The other one is called as data resource actually. So if I go back right, let me show it to you. Now, let me go here. Okay, now you see here you have sources, resources, providers, everything. You have something called as data resources, guys. Now, if I go to data resources, you will have something like this. Now, it is very, very important you need to understand what is the difference between resource and data. See, if you see both looks same, see AWS underscore VPC here, AWS AMI. Uh, the syntax looks same and only thing is you have resource in the first and data in the here in the first actually now let me tell you here if you give a resource in the configuration i'll give something like this so resource block is called like say it says a code block right i'll say resource block resource block will create the resource very simple okay resource block will create the resource guys that's it it won't do anything what the moment you say resource and it might be aws vpc it might be ec2 whatever it is pre predefined actually it's not like on the fly i, I selected aws underscore vpc it is already deleted uh, created actually so let me show it to you um i'll go to go back i'll say aws resources terraform aws resources Now, if I come down, there will be two things here. See, it, it is showing actually EC2. Under EC2, you have data sources and you have resources actually. Okay. Now, right now, we are going to concentrate on only resources. If I expand these resources, and it is defined like AWS, VPC, if you want instance, you can use AWS instance, AWS instance. So that means you what you need to give is you need to use resource. And what you want to create if you want to create AWS instance what you need to give AWS instance if you want to create AWS VPC you need to come down. I think VPC has a separate block if I come down come down See VPC has a separate block so VPC And we have again data sources and resources inside that one in under the resources you have AWS VPC Yeah, AWS VPC and what is this one? What is the example? What is the example so this is this is the important thing to understand many people think that normally people think that This will be name of the VPC <coughs> Since you are creating a AWS underscore VPC They think that whatever the VPC they are creating it will be the name will become this one but if that is the case, why we give tags name as my DevOps VPC? So that is not true. Let me tell you this is okay. If I go here, put a resource and hit the tab, the syntax is resource, resource type, and name. That is the syntax. That means resource, the resource type you want to create is AWS underscore VPC. And this is the name. Name of what? 
this complete resources from this block this this bracket to this bracket right the whole code is there right this code the name is example vpc that means if you have like lot of like if i have like 10 vpcs right here you see uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy here imagine i'm going to do something like this if i paste it for four times right and it's like oh, i have one two three four something so what will happen right now if you see it is the same code right how can i differentiate between these two codes so what i can do is i can give different names guys so i can give example two this is example three so now i have example one two three and four so now the code right whatever the code this code is rep this code block from line 2 to line 7 right the name of this code block is the resource code block is example don't think that this name will be actually belong to any of the uh, resource inside the vpc i mean that name will not be displayed here guys in the aws environment right that name won't be displayed that name is only exist in the terraform so tomorrow if i want to access this somewhere right imagine i want to access this code code block somewhere what i can do i can simply give aws underscore vpc okay dot example one dot so i'll say tags dot name if i give this one so what will happen so the moment the terraform sees this and oh i need to go to the aws vpc example resource that means this is the resource in that one i need to go for tax in that one i need to go for the name like this we're going to access so when you create a resource that means you are creating a you, you are creating a resource in the aws actually or azure whatever the cloud and side the name of this complete resources at terraform level is example one it has nothing relation to aws inside the aws you won't see that example one anywhere you will see only the tags actually the tax name is equal to my devops vpc one right it will only display at the aws level here the resource block name is example one are we clear guys any questions is this clear the resource what i'm just told you is it clear because you're going to create a lot of resources if you don't understand what is that name doing here you'll get confused that's why are we good yes no all right yeah sir okay good now now let's talk about the data sources actually okay i'm going to remove this now let's go here uh, or here where is this okay i'll go to data okay let's i want vpc right okay hold on in vpc what i want is i minimize this i open data sources and i'll say aws vpc data source and i'm going to copy these two actually so that you'll understand what this is doing okay what exactly data source how it is different from a resource see resource concept is very simple it will create a resource whichever the cloud or on-prem vmware doesn't matter when you specify a resource and then what is the type of the resource and the name of the resource it will create the resource but what will happen imagine a scenario the scenario is uh you are actually managing the aws for a for a while and uh, you started like almost one or two years you are managed using manually now you have decided to use the uh, use the uh, terraform actually now the problem here is you already have the existing infrastructure now what do you want is you want to create a new subnet okay you want to create a new subnet imagine i already i already have some vpc something like this actually some green vpc is already there okay now i want to create in that one the problem is that green vpc is not created by terraform it was created before terraform how can i take that information what i can do is i can give data 
the moment you are giving data instead of resource means the moment you give data that means the resource is already there in the Terra, in the AWS. I want to get that information. So what I can say, data AWS VPC. I'll say the name of this this code block is Green VPC. In the ID, what I'm going to do is I can actually go here and copy the VPC ID, and I can give it here. Now what will happen? when this code is running right what it will do is it will go talk to the vpc and get this information okay next time when you are creating a resource see resource they are applying a creating a subnet now see vpc id what they are saying data okay aws vpc or i need to give green vpc here green vpc dot id so obviously then this subnet will be created since we gave as a VPC ID this one if you, if I don't give this data right the AW I mean the Terraform really don't know what is this Where exactly I can get the green green VPC information because it's not created by me, right? It was created long back. So if I need to create into uh, an existing infrastructure, which is not part of Terraform What we can do is we can actually use the data pull that information into Terraform code and then utilize that one Clear guys Guys, clear? Yeah, Asha. So, uh, Asha, basically, like uh, whichever uh, resource we are not created, uh, I mean, we are not creating or or if it's already existing, to do uh, any edits or uh, changes to that resource, uh, we go with the data option, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. To pull that, to make to make uh, Terraform aware of that resource, we use the data. Okay, Asha. Okay. Uh, but but we but yeah. we need to know some information about that uh, that we, that uh, resource. Basically, it's a VPC name or uh, something. Yeah, I'm coming else. to that one. Okay. Now, if I go here, mm, okay. Now, data. Where is this one? Okay. Now, what it is saying that one. AWS VPC provide details about specific VPC. Okay, so the following example shows how one might accept a VPC ID as a variable use this data source to obtain data necessary for creating Now if you give data AWS VPC like this right when you run the code What will happen is this is argument reference that means what are things you can give instead of ID You can also give all these things that is not important if you come down you have something called as uh attribute reference actually what is this attribute reference okay now when you when you give a data this data source will complete the data by populating any fields that are not included in the configuration so it will automatically pull all this information if you see it will pull all this information so what will happen see what you are accessing is you are accessing only vpc id right you are accessing here data i'm going to say i'm going to access vpc id the moment you give app vpc id this will run and it will gather all the information along with this one the argument this information tags it will also pull out this all this information see all the argument attributes except filter blocks are also exported as result attributes what i'm trying to say is let me do one thing for you Let's test this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Okay, I'll go to main actually. Main right, I'm going to delete this one since we already deleted that, or I can give control forward slash, it will comment it out. Okay. Now I'll go to EC. Oh, sorry, I'll go to the this untitled. I'll go into copy this. I'm going to put on main actually. Main save it if i run terraform plan right what will happen i just put uh, let's see what will happen okay so what exactly did did <clears throat> oh it is great oh sorry guys i need to i removed everything right where this came from i removed every oh okay okay you have this here information here also hold on let me comment it out I really don't want to create this Okay, let me run it again. That's why you need to run always the plan to find out what's happening at the back end Okay, if I run a terraform plan It is saying that one 
data changes aws vpc green vpc refreshing us that means it has contacted the aws and gather the information of vpc okay fine there is the 